They'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about Fukushima, about the pre-walks, the Fukushima awareness walks that are happening tomorrow. There's a lot of them in Oregon, which should be, we tried to spark this fire. Lonnie and I are the first post-ignorance gig was in Eugene last March. And by the way, that was a very tiny group of people who showed up at that thing. Look what's spread out of that up there. Wow. That was the spark. I want to talk about why this is a walk. This is peaceful. Because the things that we took for granted in this country, as me as a boy growing up, as I think so many of us who watch these videos as baby boomers, we got social engineered through that fucking pathetic box that everybody watches. The, the things that we, our parents, our grandparents, and everybody took, that America was a battle between good and evil. It was a battle between slavery and enlightenment. That's why we're walking to Hamilton. Hamilton is New York City, period, period. Hamilton is America, period. And anybody who ever tells you, anybody, any of you students, anybody who ever walks into an economics class, and any freaking economics professor at any level, I don't care if you're in the MBA, I don't care where you are, we are one. That's Alexander Hamilton. We are one. And this economic foundation was fundamentally founded on one fucking thing, one thing. He hated slavery, the Enlightenment, the anti-slavery movement. You know, he watched that pain in the Caribbean when he was a boy. He watched that horrific pain over and over. All his pain, his brilliant genius. Yeah, was he hated? Yeah, it cost him his life. It cost him his life because, did he even shoot? I don't think he even fired. Well, we know he he said he was either going to fire or miss on purpose. He told everybody that. Because he was a righteous person. He was a horrible politician. Because he was way too honest. And he blew up the Federalist Party. He blew it up. And he told on himself when he was having the so-called sex with... They teed him up. That was blackmail. But who cares? The bottom line is this. He is New York. And I wish you could have seen his own funeral. Every single person in New York, the entire city, participated. Why do I keep bringing this up in regard to Fukushima? Because this is the path that we've taken. Because we incorporate, we gave up his ideas. Without his ideas, we have no America. We don't buy, the Louisiana Purchase doesn't happen. We, we lose to Hitler. And if you are any color, I don't care if you are of any color, you would not exist. Because without Hamilton, Hitler wins. Without Hamilton, the Civil War, the South, they don't win. We all lose. Slavery still exists in this, and then slavery would have existed, and Hitler would have won. Now, granted, Russia did all the work, all the work. We know that. Russia did. But without the United States' participation, Hitler wins. The reason. I love all you assholes who come to me when we start. That mountain that I do in the background, one day I'll explain to you ignorant fucks. When it comes to that, oh, the Federal Reserve, 1939, Federal Reserve started in the fucking 1870s. By Hamilton. Yeah, you could change the name. It's changed. We had Walcott Bank. We had some currencies. Whatever, but a central bank started then. Now, should it be owned by private sources or public? I don't know. I, you know, it's been... Greenspan hijacked an island. Fucking fairy tale bullshit. That's the greatest economic terrorist there ever was. Max Kaiser, I'll tag this, has been in New York. This is brilliant, his work. Now, I disagree so much with Kaiser. I'm silver, 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 silver. But his overall thesis of Wall Street is fucking brilliant. It's brilliant. As a new study comes up that Apple can make their phones for $4 more is all it costs here. Let me read. This is the Tariff Act of 18, 1790. That's what shaped this freaking Tariffs, tariffs, tariffs. Not only did it pay for all the fucking debt, this country was more in fucking debt then than it was then. Here. I mean, the little old ladies holding little pieces of paper. Fucking, you know, people all over. Fuck government hat couldn't pay. They fucking, no way. We were fucking done. Hamilton brought us out of that. More than that, simply, very quickly, on the thesis of anti-slavery. How? Tariffs, tariffs, tariffs. Duties, duties. I says, oh, God, they didn't, bro. Fuck. The ships lined up in New York fucking harbor then? Per capita, there was more international trade than there is fucking today. I said, oh, we flattened out there. Bull fucking shit. 
You know how fucking sophisticated those sailors were? I love it. It's generational fucking arrogance. This country we could sit and spin. It's just like my movement in New York City. It has to be New York City. It has to be. This Pope's ignorance movement. How does this tie into Fukushima? General Electric. The fucking cabal. The fucking slavery cabal that is fuck. We fucking get rid of. Fuck, tariffs don't just fucking bring money into the treasury and pay off all our debts. If we put the tariffs on individual, on slave fucking goods, like he did, we end slavery. We end slavery. We enlighten people. We empower people like Vermont did. Vermont shut down fucking Jakey through the legislative process because their people were empowered. In San Diego, we got fucking song shut down. People said three years ago, Captain, fuck, for years this can't be done. What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? I'm fucking, it's like this vlog of mine. I'm fucking fighting this to the fucking death. I have AML leukemia. There are no fucking days off. With what I have, my, my, I love my cancer psychologist. I love her. She says, Kevin, you know, you know, this is a fight to the fucking death. And let's hopefully the death's at 80, not fucking at 50 fucking three. This is a fight. There's no fucking days off in what I have. I've got to make this, I've almost made this two year. This two year fucking deal is going to be a big deal. By the way, Megan Rice said it's September 23rd. By the way, that's another reason we're going right there to the square. Her father taught right there. And if you don't know her, you New Yorkers, her father is Dr. Rice. And if you don't know who Dorothy Day is and you live in New York, please, please. It's just like, you know, you forgot who fucking Hamilton is. Wow. Wow. This fucking country is so fucking ignorant, you want to spit in hyperbole? I was so fucking in bed with the fucking conception of Occupy, and I love what Occupy did in so many ways. But they lacked fucking knowledge. I've learned through this vlog how ignorant fucking this country is. Is it their own fault? I don't know. I don't know. But these fucking basic fundamental fucking foundations of this fucking country, which aren't our fucking hyperbole, wrap a fucking flag and fucking the Second Amendment's a fairy tale. that's all we want to talk about. And I use the logo, I say it. Leave your drums, leave your guns at home. That's a direct freaking talk about the AstroTurf teabagger movement. It left, oh, please. That was no movement. That was Koch brothers fucking, again, Hitler fucking Nazi, Koch brothers. Fucking Prescott Bush, Koch brothers. These, all these fucking people that fucking, fuck. Hamilton's a burr, fuck. Funded by the fucking queen. I mean, remember, it was a tie between you. Hamilton blew up the Federalist Party because he told the fucking truth, and people can't handle the fucking truth. That's why he was such a shitty politician, because he told on himself. He told the fucking truth. He told all his flaws, all his fucking brilliance, everything. He was fucking pure. He was a tie. He, him and Jefferson went at it, fuck people say, oh, they hated each other. They didn't hate each other. But it was fucking that fucking piece of shit fucking Burr who fucking, oh, fuck, I'm just, he, Burr would pit in perfect in New York City today. Look at me. I'm a politician to suck up fucking money. You say it all the time. That's why you become a politician, to get rich. He said it over and over and over. It fucking violated him. It violated fucking Hamilton's son. You know, as he was killed three years earlier the same way, and both of them fucking missed on purpose. Both of them because they were extremely spiritual men. Look, it was a tie. He went to Jefferson's. That would cost Burr the presidency. It's kind of like right now in the state of Utah. You know, Mike Lear, these pieces of shit, these fucking Republican parties, there is no two-party system, so everything's decided behind closed doors in those little fucking caucuses because no Democrat has a chance here. That's what America is in red and blue fucking states. They decide, so they're close. That's what politics has turned into in America. Same thing then. And it was fucking Hamilton's because he knew Jefferson was pragmatic and he could make deals. And that's, that's how America always was until the last 15 fucking years. And Occupy, I loved him, but fuck, talk, it exposed the ignorance of America. I'm like, you're right there. I'm telling him right there. I'm in Washington Square. I'm there. Fucking three years ago, I'm going fuck crazy. I'm fucking doing bucket lectures. I'm standing there. Fucking, we're talking. You're right there at NYU. Right there with the shirtwaist girls. I'm trying to call it side. I'm like, look, let's go to Hamilton's graves. The Cotty's right there. And fuck, come on. What? What's a tariff, huh? And these are the smart ones. These are the smart. Hamilton is New York City. Hamilton is the United States. So I love it at the end of the PBS documentary. He says it so perfectly. He says he doesn't need any fucking monuments. He doesn't need any fucking monuments. Because we're living in his fucking monument. This country is his fucking monument. Has it been hijacked away? Fuck yes. Oh, fuck yes. New York City? Fuck, well, I was on Wall Street for fucking years. Fucking was healthy. What made this country fucking a powerhouse? 
They kidnapped her. They hijacked her. They destroyed Max Kaiser says it perfectly. Fucking Steve, fuckhead Chinese jobs. Yeah, monument to that piece of fucking shit. That fucking legacy. And I'll say this about Barack Obama. I can write his entire memoir, his eight-year memoir now, with two words. You'll open the book. Barack Obama's memoirs. Status quo. He's done nothing. It's the, what is the definition of that old cliche of insanity? Doing the same things over and over and expecting the same results. The Fed did not change. The Fed's a fucking joke. Now, should it be private owned or private owned? Fuck, they fell both ways. This is an ebb and flow. This isn't just fucking black and white. Now, I'll tell you what is black and white. As I call Blanche Schwartz. As that's Blanche Schwartz, people don't know that. That's French white, German black. What? Then when I come up with that, my name, blah, blah, blah. Wow, is that evolved? Fucking Legetti. Oh, is that evolved, Legetti? Because Germany has said no to nuclear and France has not. So, this all ties into nuclear. Because the power of the people is taking down nuclear right now through these YouTube cameras. People like me, people like Gene Stone, people like Patty Davis, grassrooters, people like the beautiful activists all over Vermont. Look what they did! Look what they did in Vermont! Yankees fucking nuts! And you people in England, in Scotland, in Ireland, you should be more happy about fucking Yankee going down than us. Because it doesn't matter. It's like when I was saying, this is, that is, SODS is no Southern California issue. It's more of a Texas issue. It's more of a fucking Arizona issue. It's more of an essence. Because it's where the wind blows. It's where the water flows. Just like Fukushima, it is safer to live in Tokyo. I cannot overstate that it is safer to live in Tokyo than San Francisco, California. Than Boise, Idaho. Than Salt Lake City. Than Seattle, Washington. Hello, class. The fucking wind blows. It's where the water flows. It's where the wind blows. It's like some asshole came to me in the early days. Oh, you're quoting Madonna now. I use, I live to tell. Really, fucker? Really? These are cultural icons, whether you agree, just like Hamilton, whether you agree or not. This is who we are. 1986, Chernobyl. Fucking people need to pull their head out of their ass. This is fuck. Post-ignorance is not Occupy. It is not fucking AstroTurf, Teabagger Hell. Post-ignorance is detail. It is education. It is things that, well, you could fucking hate me, disagree with me. I don't really give a fuck. These are about things that work. Tariff Act of 18 fucking 90. Whereas by an act entitled, an act by filaying of duties and goods, whereas merchandise imported into the United States deserves dirties, were laid on goods, whereas in merchandise so imported for the discharge of the debts of the United States and the encouragement and protection of merchandise, and whereas the supporting of government and the discharge of said debts rendering it necessary to increase the duties. In order to promote manufacturing in the United States, Hamble proposed that the imported goods be more expensive, which would force Americans to buy more homemade products. Let's talk about this as Apple. Kaiser says, it's, by the way, Max and Stacy are geniuses. They are the greatest. Now, he goes off and la la Bill on his fucking silver, and he's been dead wrong on silver, and I have my theories, he has his theories. You know, the market being controlled, uh, overproduction, because people, gold and silver are not a finite commodity, and I can get into that. I was an arbitrage derivative special on Wall Street. I watched the good people of Wall Street be washed away by these fucking princes, these oligarch, these pieces of fucking shit. Kaiser says it perfectly. He's fucking on it perfectly. They're fucking corrupt, creepy fuckers. And you support them. You're your fucking own abuser. Apple comes out $4 more to make a fucking phone. Do you know what that... Not only that, okay, say Apple came home to California, where they belong. They are us. Not only do and force them to pay taxes and not shelter their $160 billion offshore. Put it back into the economy. Pay your fucking fair share of fucking taxes as you're making the fucking money off us. Hamilton fucking knew this. He knew slavery. Not only that, your workers pay taxes. Your workers become happy. Your workers become more enlightened. They become, they don't work 65, 70 hours a week in fucking poverty. They don't stand in fucking line to get a fucking food stamp card. They become more emboldened power, and then they become enlightened, and then they learn how to fight, and they learn how to stand up to these fucking, and the corruption can't work. The corruption cannot work. The nuclearism cannot work. The Megan Rice, they go fucking nuts. That would never fucking happen if we had terrors. Megan Rice would never be in a prison cell. She is the daughter of Dr. Rice. She is a 33-year-old nun in a peaceful protest. Under the, fuck the Patriot Act. That is the Unpatriot Act. It is repression. 
And this comes down to tariffs. This comes down to how we're going to walk to his grave. I've been there many, many times. It's right there. There's a reason he's buried at the Trinity Church. That sacred, sacred, hallowed ground. That sacred, sacred, hallowed fucking ground where those girls jumped to their death in 1911. That's what gave us minimum wage. That's what changed the fucking world because people had morality. I'll tell you how they had morality. When Burr killed Hamilton, every single fucking person in New York attended. I'm not talking... Oh, everybody who was anybody. No, every fucking person in that city. That's how loved that man was. Because he stood against slavery. He was the original abolitionist. I could show you a lot of things there because I love history. And I love Jefferson. And I love Hamilton. And even though they went like, they loved each other. And Washington was smart enough to understand this. And that's what gave us this powerful, amazing aberration. American was, was, was the beacon light. Not anymore. We are the fucking United States of General Electric. I pledge allegiance to nuclearism. Nuclearism is not just fucking cancer. Nuclearism is, I will tag this fucking amazing blog he wrote about Joan Salk. I didn't know. This is fucking great. It is multiple sclerosis. It is autism. I can prove that it is autism. Nuclear Falls Autism. Autism, the capital of the world, right here. I'm autistic. Now I'm fucking leukemia, AML, fighting for my life. This is what it all is, and this comes down to simple. I can break it all down to fucking tariffs. Everybody, we are one. We are one. That is the inception of this country. Economically, philosophically, enlightenment. We fought against slavery. Hamilton hated fucking slavery. I like how Jefferson's all tilled the earth. Jefferson never tilled fucking nothing. His fucking slaves tilled the fucking earth. We need to go back as the fucking Fed was fucking kidnapped. Fucking... Bill Walmart Clinton. Bill East India Clinton. Oxford fucking Rhodes Scholar. Just remember that. Yeah, he may be fucking popular now, but in the fucking, you know, 200 years from now as they look back, uh, 50 years from now back, oh, the history books will be written as this great conservative movement, which is really not. It's the great regressive movement. Stay on tune it.